How's everybody doing? Well, it's good to walk out of there without any injuries, first and foremost, so we're excited about that. And then just taking the players through the, uh, the proper process of what we do in the locker room, going from uh, you know, the locker room, the warm-ups, uh, pre-game, uh, back into the locker room, out on the field, where we have to uh, do different things at for our team tonight, and then what it would be like on Thursday. So there's a lot of things we threw at them today, and I thought they handled that part well. Um, there's some, there was some spotty play on the field, but again, it wasn't about you know who won or anything like that. We're just competing and trying to do some things uh, differently, offensively, defensively, and special teams. So I think we accomplished that. We know we got some work to do before next Thursday night, but again, it was good just to get in our stadium and understand uh, where everything, how everything works, where everything will go as we start this season. How's Kirksey? He's good. No, Kirksey's fine. He could have went back in. I shut that down uh, real quickly. I mean, I, again, like I said, I think it was spotty play here and there. You know, we mixing and matching and playing. And, and again, you know, in fairness, I thought they all tried to hold their own pretty well. I thought Brock did some good things. Kevin did some good things with the, uh, with the white team. I thought, you know, there's some things that Cody could have done a little better. And there's some things that Deshaun could have done a little better. So we'll just keep growing from that. But that wasn't, to me, a true indication of, of who they are and what they are. But it was good to get them in our stadium on our field, around our fans, and see what that's going to be like. So next Thursday night, that's not new to them. They all will understand what that feels like and looks like. Hugh, um, Deshaun, that last two-minute drive, like, did you see anything? Or what stood out specifically? And then did he have Duke on that one play and just missed him? Yeah, I mean, he missed that one. He'll be first to tell you that. That's a ball that he, he normally makes. But again, that's, to me, that's first time in this stadium making that throw in that end zone. You gotta, you gotta be here. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of our quarterbacks don't show back up here later on the night just to go back through that. I mean, that's what the good ones do. They find out this is your home, this is where you play, and the elements are a little different, you know, than the practice field. You know, it's really oh, we're in a closed kind of environment now, so it's different, you know, when you see things. But we gotta make those plays, and we will as we move forward. Oh, absolutely, I will. I have to. We have a game next Thursday, so I'll definitely look at it. But as I said to all of you the other day, it doesn't mean whichever you know, road we decide to travel for next Thursday, that doesn't mean that's the starter for the season. You know, that might be for a game until we see more. Might need to see more, as I said a while back. You know, but, but all of this is good information for me, good data for me, good data for our staff, good data for our executive team to really look at every possibility we have as we move forward. No, I will, I will look at it and I may change it. I didn't say that I will. I may change it. Absolutely. And would that be, I mean, you show up for practice tomorrow and it could be different then? Uh, probably won't be tomorrow. Uh, I think as we get ready, start getting ready to play New Orleans, I think uh, by Monday I'm sure it'll be what it's going to be. i got to ask about that Corey Coleman pass. Come on. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, we called it. That's bottom line at the end of the day, it was called. So we didn't execute it. I, I probably felt the same way you did, but let's keep going. <laughs> you know, impressions on, on Miles Garrett. He's a good player. I mean, he, he did some good things. There were some other sacks that, you know, again, I wasn't, I was trying to be friendly to both sides. You know, I was trying to play mediator there for a moment because there were some other hits that I think we would have had on the quarterback. Uh, that the officials didn't call because guys know they're trying to stay away from the quarterback. So, I, again, I think it was pretty um, – played pretty cleanly from both sides. Um, you know, uh, guys wanted the more sacks than what they got, and that, that's part of it. I get to make those decisions right now. Are you a little bugged at all by the fact that, I mean, you put the first-team offense against the, the second-team defense and that they weren't a little bit more productive? No, not at all. I'm being honest. That, that – I've, I've been through these things so many times. I've been to where we didn't even make a yard before. And then Thursday night looked like gangbusters. So no, it's, it's not, it wasn't about that, um, not at all. I think it's about our players understanding the process, coming out and competing, putting on that uniform, and, and, and getting ready for Thursday night. Is it too early from all this to say just tonight whether um, anybody jumped out at you who wasn't like a Garrett or you know, one of your stars? 
Absolutely. I like to watch the tape, you know, before really commenting on that and saying who did some really good things. I mean, I had a kind of pretty good view, but there, you know, as a coach, you get to looking at some very specific matchups. So I need to watch it all to be able to answer that question for you. In your mind, when do you want to know your quarterback started from the season opener? Uh, I, is whenever I know. You know, I don't think there's a rush. You know, that is that's fair. I think that's that's a fair um, fair date. But again, I want to do it as fast as I can. You know, but as I said to all of you, I'm not going to rush because um, everybody wants to know tonight, tomorrow, the next day. I think what's important is that we do it the right way. I think that final uh, pass by Kaiser where he kind of bought some time and then went across his body. And he just said it. And that's what I told him. You can't throw the ball across your body. In, that's in the, in the end zone with people there. That's the things that happen, you know. So again, that's a learning, teaching moment for him. That's something he'll grow from. And, he gets it, you know, so as I said it to him, he said, Coach, you're right. But those are the things that young players, I think we all know, revert back to. That's what we got to get out of them in those situations. It seemed like Jabril was around the ball a lot in the second half. How do you, do you I'm know? sorry. It seemed like Jabril was around the ball a lot. In the mm -hmm. half. How do you see him he is. He's coming on. Just more comfortable, playing more plays, um, understanding the defense better. Um, I've seen him smack a couple people today, which is good. I mean, that's who he is, and that's what we think he'll bring to the table. So. Um, he, I thought he caught the punts really well and kickoff. So, uh, Jabril's a good football player. He's going to contribute to this team. Matt Hayes is a guy that you said has caught your eye here and mm -hmm. had a pretty good start to camp. He got a lot of touches uh, this evening. Was that by design and what did you think? Yeah, I mean, you get to see him a little more. I think he's done some really good things. Every day in practice, he's made a play. Did it today, too. He's caught the ball well. He catches the ball a little bit better than I thought he would. So, he's improved that way. So, I mean, he's got a legitimate opportunity here. Uh, are, these, are these quarterbacks making it tough on you? It seems like nobody's jumping out and, and grabbing plays. No, I mean, I, I mean I, not really. I mean, it's, uh, you want somebody to be head and shoulders above everybody else. But I think, let's be honest, when you got four guys that you're giving a bunch of reps to, it's hard to do. You know, but it, pretty soon, like, as I said before, we got to stop that part of it and move forward with who we think can really go play quarterback for us. And that's the fair thing to do. I think when you bring four guys into camp and you have an open competition, you have to be fair. I think that's first and foremost because the other players are watching me as I conduct this, this uh, competition with them. So I think you have to appear fair, but they also understand and know at some point in time, coach has to make a decision about what's best for a football team. And we're getting closer to that than we're not. And that's where we're headed. Somebody in, in, in the first spot in the rotation on Monday, just for purposes of this question, let's say it's Deshaun on, on Monday and you pick him uh, to start in the game on Thursday night. Does that mean he's your kind of new man to be for the time being? Like somebody's got to take, go take it from him now? I know you guys want to use that headline. <laughs> um, Mary Kay, you can look at it like that. I mean, I, I don't. Until I really make that decision, can I really honestly answer that question, you know, and say, I know without question that this is the guy to beat. You know, he would have to go and stink it up, and, and if he did, then he wouldn't be the quarterback, you know. But I, I think um, this thing is still really fluid in my mind. Um, you know, there's, there's four good candidates, and um, we got a lot of work to do. But at the same time, I think there's some guys that will rise to the occasion with, with more work and more opportunity.